हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार टुडे विल डिस्कस ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज प्रिपेरिंग इंग्लिश लेसन प्लान पर्टिकुलरली द पोइट्री इन फाइव इ मॉडल जनरली द ट्रेनिज अ स्टूडेंट टीचर्स आर फेसिंग लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स हाउ टू डेवलप फाइव लेसन प्लान ऑन इंग्लिश पोइट्री और प्रोज एट्सेट्रा टुडे यू विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल स्टेप वाइज हाउ टू डेवलप हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फाइव ई लेसन प्लान ऑन इंग्लिश पोइट्री इन माई प्रिवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्योरिटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फाइव ई लेसन प्लान इन डिटेल्स यू प्लीज गो थ्रू दी द प्रिवियस वीडियोज आई हैव ऑल्सो अपलोडेड how to develop lesson plans in odia language also today we will discuss the preparing lesson plan in english language you know well before preparing lesson plan you have to prepare the general objectives and specific objectives this is the format you have to write basic uh, information like date class school period time subject topic etc and you will write the uh, general objectives like for example the students will be able, will develop four language skills like lsrw enrich their vocabulary stock cultivate la language usage use functional grammars if needful develop positive attitudes towards english language and literature compose creative writing like essay story poem novel etc develop their aesthetic sense and ima imagination so these are the general objectives we have to write similarly and what sources are needed what tlm will be used for teaching you have to put down here like for example english text today we will discuss about the topic tree of cbse book class 7 uh, textbook okay the book is honeycomb okay tlms like picture of plants trees etc will be used in this uh, what lesson plans okay next we will discuss specific objectives i have told you specific objectives should follow the module of smart that should be specific measurable achievable you are uh, result oriented and you are time bound so here the topic is a uh, tree the poem is tree after reading the poem tree the learners will be able to recite the poem with appropriate appropriate pause stress and intonation narrate the significance of trees for human beings and other creatures list out the medicinal values of different trees explain the observation of observations of parents on trees compose a poem on trees and human life so these are the specific objective to be attained uh, through our teaching okay let us discuss the general procedure what general procedure will be followed by the teacher while uh, during the time of the teaching whenever you are preparing the lesson plans you have to write your strategy or general procedures to be followed throughout the lesson here uh, i have prepared the teacher will follow the following strategy during his or her teaching preparation greeting uh, classroom arrangement and creating a learning environment warm up activity brainstorming dialogue with students reg uh, regarding teach follow up teach follow teaching process you approach that is the 5e model we have to follow that the uh, five uh, stages engage explore explain elaborate and evaluation methods to be adopted direct and communicative approach right tlm to be used images of different plants and trees El evaluation strategy will be uh, your comprehension questions uh, objective type questions project work on composition of poem and tree so this is uh, regarding this is the you are the uh, what the strategy to be followed while preparing lesson plans let us discuss this step by step uh, for example you are uh, engagement stage so here whenever you are preparing lesson plans you have to make some columns like first steps then met, uh, matters or teaching points then teachers activity then students activity methods or media or tlm will be used for teaching and the last column will be blackboard work and evaluation procedure here uh, let us start from one by one step that is engagement what will be done what will be the matter in teach, or the teaching points in the engagement stage 
the preparation first thing is that the teacher will prepare the class first means that is called the you, the teacher should follow the the principle law of learning by el thondag that is the law of readiness okay law of motivation here the teacher will enter the classroom greet the students classroom arrangements will be made by the teacher informal talk with the students to know their readiness for learning okay so this thing will be happened oh and the students also what is the role activity of the students or what is the role of the students the students will stand up and warm uh, warmly greet the uh, teachers proper sitting arrangements according to the instruction of the teacher they will sit uh, arrange their seats okay and listen follow the teachers instruction so uh, here what happen, what will happen what strategy or methods will be used uh, followed for the engagement stage here uh, what i have prepared here the uh, lesson plan of the tree brainstorming and discussion a discussion question answer you are uh, method will be adapted uh, for uh, the engagement stage so let me discuss the engagement activity that is the brainstorming and interaction about a uh, no, uh, known trees the teacher try to know what the, uh, how many trees the students the name of the trees the students know uh, the, uh, how far the students know about the the importance of different trees etc the students will the teacher will uh, make dialogue and discussion with the students for example the, uh, the uh, taking the name of the uh, students for example x is a student mr x can you tell me the names of trees you know okay the teacher will ask this uh, x mr x mr x can you tell me the names of the trees you know uh, the students will answer for example the students will uh, the students answered like this yes uh, yes sir mango banana banyan etc oh very good okay uh, anyone wants to say the names of other trees except the trees told by x again the teacher will ask the question this is the discussion and dialogue can you tell me other names of the trees what uh, the uh, except the trees the name of the trees told by mr x so yes sir rose lily etc okay rose lily etc these are not the trees okay these are not trees trees they are the plants okay sir plants okay are these trees uh, can you tell me uh, i will tell some uh, name uh, you will distinguish what are the trees and what are the plants so the teacher will say or will, uh, will uh, write in the blackboards about the different trees and uh, um, uh, your uh, plants the students will distinguish what is the tree and what is the who are the trees and what are the plants here the teacher can also do the activity he will uh, make the pick up box okay in the in a one box um, the, the teacher will write both the trees and plants and in another two box will be made on blackboard or in your activity or sheet and these, these students will be instructed to pick off the plants in the plant box and uh, your trees in the tree box so uh, you can also make such type of activity are the these trees or plants the teacher will ask are these trees or plants are there any uh, difference between the both can you tell me what is the difference between tree and plants the students here the teacher uh, uh, engage the students uh, regarding the uh, your to reach at the topic or to know particularly the previous knowledge of the students regarding the trees etc and plants etc okay can you tell me dear students what do trees uh, give us who can say what the uh, trees do, uh, give us students will say the tree will uh, tree gives us oxygen tree gives us shades tree gives us fruits leaf uh, wood etc etc the students the teachers uh, the, will discuss with the students then the teacher will declare the topic the students uh, today we will discuss a very important topic which is in your uh, english textbook the, that is the poem the, the, uh, the poem is the trees we will discuss the regarding the poem the uh, your trees in your uh, in your textbook let the uh, start the explanation exploration stage in the exploration stage this uh, the teacher the objective of the uh, the role of the teacher is to explore the explore from the students how far the students knows about the trees and its different components and they are uh, related to the poem particularly or the topic you were going to teach uh, the teacher will uh, try to explore from the students how far the students know and understand about that topic so here uh, uh, the teacher uh, here what i have prepared listen uh, the model recitation of the poem by the teacher for developing listening and reading skill and connect with the new topic here the teacher will 
I say uh, without opening the book, students, uh, teacher will say, don't open the book. Now I am recite the poem. You listen carefully, okay? And listen carefully. Uh, the uh, I am reciting the poem, okay? The teacher only opens the book, and students will listen only. Dear students, uh, uh, you have read this poem earlier. You have you read this poem uh, earlier? Students will say, most of students know, sir. Okay. Can you say about the poem in brief? Can you say the poem in brief? Can you say? No, no, sir. I, 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 the students, for example, suppose to say that we have never gone through this poem. Okay, very good. Okay. So, okay, dear students, now listen the poem, uh, 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 what I recited by you, by recited by me. I will recite the poem, you listen me. Okay. So, the students will listen the, uh, with the attention. After recitation, the teacher will try to test the listening skill of the students. Here, the teacher can test whether the students listen or not. You know, how can the teacher uh, test the listening um, skill of the uh, uh, students? Now, you note down the number of words you remembered during the my recitation. This to a teacher may ask to the students, I have, uh, you, you listen my recitation, I have recited the whole poem. Uh, you, now, you uh, write down in your notebook, on your notebook that uh, how many words you uh, uh, put uh, mem you are uh, memorize okay please write down tell me one by one the words you note down okay tell me now okay who has written highest number of words i am sir oh you mr x seven numbers okay seven words you have written very good and, and others okay here the students the teacher will try to know how far the uh, how far the students listen his teaching or his recitation okay Okay, now listen again. Now I am reading again. I am reciting the poem again. Again, you listen. Don't open your book. Okay. So uh, now uh, tell uh, after listen after recitation, the teacher will ask. You, now tell in which line the poet talks about small children. Can you tell me? You listen the uh, poem twice. Now tell oh, you are uh, tell me in which uh, uh, you are line the poet talks about the small children. Don't open the uh, book. Here also the teacher try to uh, test uh, the skill, your listening skill and the concentration of the students. How far the students listen uh, his recitation with attention. Okay. So you can also uh, do such type of activity to in order to test the uh, your listening power of the students. Here also you can uh, also test the, you are the, explore the students understanding, students knowledge and also you can test the your speaking skill of the students. Next is your very good uh, in, in both uh, in which lines the poet speak about seasons. Can you tell me another? Can you tell me in which uh, 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 you are the uh, lines or the stanza the poet speak about the seasons? Sorry sir, we cannot speak. Okay, very good. It is in 9 and 10. Okay. So this will develop the listening and, and uh, you are listening and speaking skill. Okay. Or can you say what the poet intends to say in this poem? Can you tell me? Uh, you have already listened twice the uh, poem. Can you tell me what is the intention of the uh, poet? What is the motto of the uh, poet in this poem? Oh, very good. Very good. Mr. Jet, very good. Oh, about usefulness of trees, sir. Okay, very good. So here the poem wants to say what are the useful or importance of the tree or the significance of the tree in our day to day life, okay, for the environment, etc. Very good. Any more? No, sir. Now, open your book, page number 84, and by name, the teacher will invite the three, four students to recite the poem. Here, the, the teacher will say to, in order to, uh, you are know whether the students are able to recite or read, the teacher can also uh, ask two, three students, you are randomly to recite the poem. Okay, well, very good. The students whom the teacher called and will recite the poem aloud. So, uh, to whom the teacher um, called for recitation of the poem, the students will recite, and the student, the, uh, the teacher, the students will recite one by one, and the teacher will carefully listen, and other students will also be instructed, will be instructed to listen attentively and correct if they make any kind of the mistakes, right? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Who can say the name of poet now? Tell me. So the, 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 your discussion will be started. Okay. In order to explore, uh, explore about about the poet, about the poem, etc. Who can say the name of the poet? Very good. Okay. S. Bauer. Okay. Okay. Uh, who can say about the poet in brief? Okay. Tell me now. What, 
now you you tell me uh, about briefly about the poet oh no idea sir okay very good now you see this is the uh, image of the poet here uh, the, the teacher will show an image and uh, uh, below the image of the poet some short description has been uh, written okay you read the description what uh, i have written in this tlm okay very good so uh, so uh, after uh, you are reading about the short uh, description of the uh, poet they will uh, the teacher will discuss regarding the uh, or describe regarding the poet then the explanation stage will be started a uh, discussion about the poem uh, here the teacher will make the group a b c d okay the, the teacher will make the group a b c d the teacher will show a tlm with the picture of poet with short description i have told you students will write about the poet in their class notebook and uh, country uh, okay so the group one uh, group a b c d will be formed here group here, here this is not compulsory you may uh, form or may not come if if your class suits for uh, if, if if you want to uh, run the individual uh, uh, learning or self learning and uh, you can also uh, tell the student to learn uh, by self and if you want to make the group uh, here what i have uh, prepared the group a b c d okay you can make also the group and you can also the focus for the pair learning also so uh, group formation group a please say why does the poet say the, that trees are for birds okay so four group has been made and group a is instructed please say why does the poet say that trees are for birds any other group members can also can uh, say more about it so this task is given to group a Let's see group a students will say they, oh, this the answer that is why does the poet say that trees are for birds okay so if the uh, the group a members cannot speak uh, so the other groups can also say if the group member group a members left something some information other member also can support that is called the scaffolding okay so members from other group will can also share students will listen if necessary the teacher will explain more details for example um, uh, in, the students are unable to say in detail regarding the you are the what uh, the uh, the uh, answer uh, uh, what the uh, poet uh, said in the poem regarding the birds the teacher can explain detail more details so here the role of the teacher is very vital in this stage particularly explanation stage the teacher will explain uh, in details the same process will follow throughout the session okay so question to the other groups groups for uh, uh, groups as per the lines allotted why does the point say trees are uh, for children what are the human activity for which trees are used do you agree uh, that one purpose of trees uh, to have fruits on it so such some type of the learning task can be given to each uh, the four groups and the discussion will be made written work can also be given they will uh, unitedly write after uh, uh, proper uh, you are reading and understanding and they will present uh, the group wise uh, group wise the students can also be present or group leader can present or we can say three four students can also speak a uh, two line three line four line etc etc so this is regarding this process will continue throughout the explanation stage okay next is you are the uh, the four stage the elaboration stage so this is a very important stage here the what the role of the um, uh, what is the importance of this stage here the students will reflect their knowledge and understanding what they gain through the uh, the topic that will be extended in their day to day life or extended to other aspects also as you are the uh, for example here in this poem that i, I will try to develop in the uh, written skill for example do you think uh, this line is humorous and why here the teacher will ask the question do you think this line the for example the trees are for birds to build nest in okay so the do you think that this line is humorous why state the feeling of uh, mother on trees here the teacher will ask the, tell me the what are the uh, feelings of the mother on trees tell me the feeling of the father on trees okay how can you differentiate the feeling of father and mother okay so the this is the uh, uh, and here also the uh, the main importance is that in elaboration stage the teacher can uh, give the different learning tasks for example uh, there is a uh, in the poem trees are for birds to build nest in trees are for uh, people to sit under then the teacher will say to the group members that you write two lines uh, after this uh, uh, these lines okay for example the trees are for birds to build nest in 
and uh, trees are for people to sit under then the, uh, the teacher will ask you try to develop two two three lines about this poem and the teacher can also say the students that uh, group wise now you try to uh, compose a poem on tree or plant or any or water or bird or whatever it may be okay so here the uh, the students will uh, extend their knowledge in the practical life on a reflective manner okay and the final stage is the evaluation stage here the evaluation stage you know it is the formal evaluation will be made the teacher will ask some questions the teacher will uh, instruct the students to give the answer of the objective type questions the main purpose of this stage is that the, student, the teacher uh, will try to uh, 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 know the how for the students could understand that today's teaching okay uh, so uh, for example a such type of question um, can be asked in which season trees have no said use the words crow on chop down a lot for making sentences of your own tell the use of trees for human survival how do trees help to small children filling the blanks uh, uh, trees make mothers say this so such type of the question uh, can be uh, asked okay mm -hmm. such type of the question can be asked so this is a, uh, a brief discussion about how to prepare lesson plan uh, in uh, english poetry thank you all if you have any difficulties any problem any suggestion you can uh, write in my youtube uh, um, your uh, channel thank you all thank you